another physics problem. I'm just going through books and finding problems I think are interesting. I'm solving the problems that I like to do. And this one looked good. So it says uh, there is a object with that moves that has a motion described by the following equation. X is a function of t is p plus qt plus rt squared. And they give values for p, q, and r. And I, it's kind of p and q and the same thing kind of, you know. So A says graph the position from x from t equals 0 to t equals 1.2 seconds. I'm going to do that in Python. Um, you could do it in a lot of different ways because you know that's a parabola, right? Because this is t squared, but whatever. Uh, what is the displacement from t equals 0 to 0 0.5? Uh, that one's not hard. And then what's the maximum distance? That one's kind of interesting. So let's just jump over to Python. And, and this would be a great opportunity to practice making graphs in Python. OK, so and I'm going to give you the code. So the first thing we want to do, I'm using GlowScript vPython, um, is to say g1 equals graph. Uh, let's give it a title, motion of object. And then we'll give it an x title, uh, time, in seconds. And then we will give it a y title of x as a function in meters. Now, one of the other things we want to do is to give it uh, dimensions. Um, I just realized you can see the soccer game on the back. Look at that, soccer. Um, but I'm, I think physics is more important, so I'm, I'm watching, watching the physics right now. Uh, so if, if you don't, the, the, the image is a lot of times too big, so I like to put uh, width equals 500, height equals 250. That should be good. Now, that just makes the boundary for the graph. To make the graph, I need a, I need a function called a g-curve. I'm going to call it f1 equals g-curve. I'm going to make it blue. Color equals color dot blue. Okay, so now let's start with some variables. I'm going to just say, I'm going to write down my variables p equals 0 0.2, q equals negative 2. I'm not putting the units in, and then r equals 2. t equals 0, dt equals 0 0.01. So in order to, um, I'm really going to plot different finite values for the position. So I need to know how much to move each time I move to a new position. And that's what dt does, right? So I'm going to start with t equals 0, and then go 0 0.01, 0 0.02, 0 0.03, 0 and so forth. So now I can say while t is less than 1.2, that's what I wanted to do, 1.2, uh, I'm going to plot the thing. So the first thing I need to do is calculate x. That's not too hard. I'm just going to calculate x. x equals p plus q times t plus r times t squared squared in Python is star star 2. Now I'm going to plot that f1.plot t x and now I'm going to increase my value of t. t equals t plus dt. That's it. That's all I have to do to make this graph. And what a lovely graph that is. That's a pretty nice graph. And right there we can actually answer the other two two parts but I'm going to do it anyway. So the next question said what is the displacement uh, from t equals 0 to t equals 0.5. So at t equals 0, x is equal to 0.2. At t is 0.5, I can just go down here, 0.5, it's, what's that? Negative 0.3. So it's going to be uh, the final position of 0.3, negative 0.3 minus initial position of 0.2. So I get negative 0.5, 0.3. I'm not sure about the rounding. We'll do it again. Um, huh. It says, what's the maximum distance from the origin? Oh, during this time interval. Well, here it's from the origin, from the origin. Um, so that would be here it is, that's the maximum distance below. But over here, it's even further. Okay, but let's do this, both those on paper. So switching, oh, I'm going to save this. Uh, What's it called? What is the displacement? And then I'll give you the link to that code, just in case you forget how to make graphs. But it's so easy to make graphs there. OK, going back to the paper. OK, so we got that. What is the displacement? So I'm going to call this delta x equals x2 minus x1, which is going to be x at time 0 0.5 minus x of 0. So now I can just put in my values uh, for t equals 0.5 and t equals 0. So this is going to be equal to, um, let's just do it 
with the calculator. Okay, so if I put in 0.5, I need to put these values in here. So I'm going to say uh, P, 0.2, plus Q, net, so let's say clear, 0.2 minus 2 times T of 0.5, uh, plus 2 times 0.5 squared equals, and I get negative 0.3 minus at 0, so I'm going to get P plus 0 plus 0, so I get 0.2 and that's going to be equal to negative 0.5 meters. That's my displacement. That's not too hard. Okay, what's the maximum displacement? So here is x as a function of time, and that is the distance from the origin. So if I want to find the max, what I'm going to do is say, uh, I'm going to do a maximum problem. So I'm going to say d uh, x dt, right? Because the maximum displacement is will be when the velocity is equal to zero, right? Because if it's moving away and then it stops to move back towards it, that's the furthest it got. So dx dt is the velocity, and that's just going to be q plus 2r times t. Now I want to say when is this, I'm going to set this equal to zero and solve for t. So if I do that, I can say 2rt equals negative q, t equals negative q, over 2r. If I put that in, I get q is going to be negative 2, so it's negative, so it's going to be 2 divided by 2 times 2, which is 0 0.5 seconds. And then to find that position, I'm going to say x at 0.5, uh, which I already did, is negative 0.3 meters. But I need to check the endpoints. So I need to also check x at 0, which I did. It's 0.2 and x at 1.2. So x at 1.2, I'm going to put that in up here. So I'm going to say uh, 0.2 minus 2 times, oops, clear. 0.2 minus 2 times 1.2 plus 2 times 1.2 squared. And I get 0.68 meters, meters. So the furthest it gets away during the time interval is at 1.2 seconds and a distance of 0.68 seconds, 0.68 meters. Boom.